हाई गाइज वेलकम टू सी ए फाइनल एस सी एम पी ई और एस सी पी एम वी आर डूइंग चैप्टर कॉल्ड एस प्रेपरेशन ऑफ परफॉर्मेंस रिपोर्ट एवरी कंपनी नीड्स टू मेजर द परफॉर्मेंस ऑफ ऑफ द कंपनी ऑफ द एम्प्लॉज ऑफ द मैनेजर्स सो ऑन एंड सो फोर्थ सो दिस चैप्टर हैज टॉट यू दैट देर इज नो स्पेसिफिक फॉर्मैट इट ऑल डिपेंड्स अपॉन वट एवर द कंपनी इज लुकिंग फॉर बट वी यूजली ट्राई टू बी सेम कंपनी शुड मेजर ऑल दो थिंग्स विच मैटर टू द कंपनी डोंट ट्राई टू मेजर एवरीथिंग यर uh previous two chapters also told you what should the company measure so on and so forth so let's do the question for today just before i start a reminder that uh join our telegram channel i'll give you important updates regarding this subject apart from that one small thing also that in case you wish to be enrolling our course the details are there in the description there is absolutely no need for you all to be calling to us you uh click on the link the lectures will automatically start everything is there in the dashboard itself that you will be getting the once you all enrolled okay and you can access our lectures always through laptop or through your android app or through the ios app okay and any medium is okay for us okay one day you can see on laptop other day you can see on the app so on and so forth that's absolutely your call so let's see the question for today the question for today is something like this since performance reports also includes reporting on non financial measures okay you are required to identify which of the following statements are correct about non financial performance measures non financial something that does not come in your financial accounts here it could be say we are trying to measure labor turnover that you all have done in see inter we are trying to see the feedback of the customers all these are non financial indicators which do not come in your accounts okay four points first non financial indicators do not involve the calculation or recording of any numbers okay second one the most appropriate non financial measures vary depending upon the needs of the organization or the nature of the organization fine non financial measures should correspond as far as possible with the aims of the organization okay fourth one the use of non financial performance indicators helps to address the deficiencies of measurements such as roi Get me the four options, please. One, two, and three are correct. Second, one or uh, two, three, and four are correct. Then one, three, and four are correct. And lastly, four, one, and two are correct. Okay. You all have read the question. Try to comment the correct answer, please, below. Okay. your time is over now see i'll try to introspect one by one non financial performance measures do not involve calculation or recording of any numbers it can involve you are for sure it can involve i think so because something like say labor turnover the example that i gave you'll have to be computing that when c inter you were computing that right so therefore try to compute it okay so it can involve calculation for sure second the most appropriate non financial measures vary depending upon the nature of the organization of course yes If you are for profit organization, you like to measure profits. If you are not for profit organization, say that you have opened a old age home, you like to see how happy the senior citizens are who have come to your home. Okay, who have come to your business or means the place wherever you have opened the old age home. So therefore, it depends upon the nature of the organization. Every organization will not measure the same things here. Yeah? Example: some teacher might measure the profits. some teacher might measure the results of the students some teachers might measure that in long run how good their students are doing right okay so everybody will measure different things depending upon the nature so point number 2 is correct point number 1 is wrong further third non financial performance measures should correspond as far as possible with the aims of the organization as a whole yes you should try to measure those things which matter to you matter to you means the objectives here of the business so therefore point number 3 is all correct okay let's try to measure those things which matter point number 4 the use of non financial measures help to address the deficiencies of measurements such as roi roi is return on investment see all financial measures know they all have one disadvantage they look forward for profits they are very short run and doing good financially does not mean that you are going to be doing great always example as i always say nokia at one moment of time was leader their financial indicators were very good superb profit superb roi superb roe everything was very good but still they all failed because they did not do innovation they should have measured how many new things we are coming out 
every now and then okay those are non financial indicators so therefore yes the limitations of financial indicators do get removed by non financial indicators so first is wrong second is correct third is correct fourth is absolutely correct so therefore answer should be b over here that should be the correct answer second third and fourth seem to be correct yeah that is the correct one okay that's it i'll see you next time in another question till then take care bye